Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. On today's episode guys, we're gonna talk about uh, Mortal Kombat Dead Alliance and uh, let me tell you that um, there was a subscriber, uh, I think anyway, somebody's comment on a, on a video of mine uh, on my channel and said that he has a problem with uh, Mortal Kombat Dead Alliance, that uh, it's uh, randomly freezes and uh, sometimes it stops and whatnot and uh, on the GameCube Dolphin Emulator of course and I thought and he he helped me actually that I should uh, check it out and whatnot and I did my I actually stayed to my word um I've been playing this game now for a week I've been playing the arca arcade mode and I playing the conquest uh, I'm gonna show you all, all that later um yes unfortunately like it's uh, it sounds stupid right but unfortunately I didn't encounter any of those kinds of problems I tried all the APIs the gra the graphic APIs you know. OpenGL, DirectX 11, DirectX 12, and uh, Vulkan, and uh, none of them give me any problems. The game runs perfectly. The only thing that I have complained with is that when you enhance the game from native resolution to like, let's say 720, 1080p, or uh, 1440p, it's gonna show it's gonna show those blue boxes, and I will show you later as well. Uh, and uh, when we switch to my desktop that they show up and the only uh, the only solution to it uh, if you have the kind of problem is that you actually need to switch to native resolution and uh, then you get to go then the box is going to disappear it's going to look perfectly fine but with the downside that you cannot uh, play it in enhanced mode that means that you're not going to get this crispy clean resolution but uh, in my opinion guys like uh, if you want to play gamecube games you're obviously searching for nostalgia and if this is the case i think you're going to play it in the native resolution as it's supposed to be played but if you kind of you want but if you kind of a guy that you want like the enhanced experience to see the game making crispy green you know and being kind of that then well you have to deal with it with those blue boxes around the text names of the characters and uh, i don't know I, I i i searched i searched a lot checked out if i maybe find anything but uh, no nothing of that and as well for the freezing or like uh, crashing of the game uh, and the whole net I didn't find anything like the only complaints was like literally that uh, the video that when the cutscenes play, uh, be playing they will be in a black kind of black screen and whatnot but it's not uh, what the video is about um, but anyways guys uh, with that all said uh, what I can recommend is actually it seems to be um, my friend that the problem is not from the emulator or from the game it's probably is from your end of the site and what I would recommend um, now let me let me let me be honest here. I think we all know that when you're gonna play emulator games, you probably need a ROM, and you probably not own the game. I, I'm not judging anybody. When I do those videos, guys, I'm literally doing it only for uh, education purpose. And uh, as soon as I'm done with the video, if I don't own the game, I'm literally deleting it, taking it out. I don't support piracy, and that's only me. You can do what you want. Do you do? I, I do mine. But uh, what I want to what I want to say is that when you download ROMs from random websites, except to get viruses, even when you don't notice them, and that's what I think causes the problem for you, my friend. I'm gonna mention your name then in the video because I don't remember your name. Um, but I think the best thing to do is literally the RAMs that you have, save them on a USB or a hard drive or whatever. Make a fresh Windows. I actually forgot the lightning. Yes, I'm very professional, Emu. Very professional. Anyways, That's what, she said. what I recommend is that you make a fresh um, Windows copy. Like literally um, make a fresh Windows copy on your PC and uh, download the emulator and try it again. I think that will probably fix your problems. And anything further to do, sorry guys. I was a long time to make this but anything further guys let's hop to my desktop let me actually um, show you my uh, dolphin emulator setup for the gamecube and the wii u games and uh, yeah see you there as we are my desktop right now guys um let me get straight let, let's get actually straight to my dolphin emulator here um make it big like that and i'm gonna show you my settings what i use so we go to configuration and uh, here, so the first thing is you go to general, um, have enabled dual core speed up enabled, the enable cheats, you can enable, disable, depends on you, allow mismatch region settings, um, I would not recommend that, uh, change disk automatically, well you can do that if you want to, 
I keep that. You can unclick it if you want to show from game on Discord. Well, depends on you. I like that. Speed limit 100. Um, because if you do actually faster, or actually, yeah, faster, it will only uh, speed up the, the game. It's not going to run at actual speed. And uh, yeah, that get actually the FPS that you're supposed to get. Even that shows it runs faster. Um, auto update beta, yes, do that. Fallback region, Paul. It's depends on which region you are. Uh, you can uh, put it. I'm in Europe, so I, I'm going to Paul here. Um, then we skip interface. Depends on you, but what I would recommend is use inbuilt database of uh, game names, so you get the accurate name. And uh, download game covers, uh, always do that, otherwise you're gonna get this, um, yeah, just uh, gray um, kind of the game, and it's not looking nice, so if you're, if you're kind of, of the kind of nerd and want like the game covers, do that. Hotkeys requires Windows Focus, it's all, I think it's uh, always enabled um, by default, so keep that. Inhabit screensaver during emulation, of course, otherwise the screensaver will pop up if you're not active and you don't want that. Keep Windows on top, depends on you. Confirm on stop, uh, always recommended. In case, in case you get a call or whatnot, you know, you, you're gaming hard as heck and then like somebody calls you. So you're gonna stop it, click escape and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna stop the emulation or you wanna, uh, you wanna keep playing? So and it's rec highly recommended here. Um, it's the more confirm yeah use panic handles i don't read i'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you i don't really know what it is but hey keep it on it's on default as well show on screen display message um remove that if you especially if you're a youtuber like me and uh, you do game gameplay uh, you don't want like when you save the game the kind of message pops up and whatnot so yeah uh, disable that show active title and windows title uh, yeah keep that pause on focus loss um uh, disable always hide mouse cursor as i said if you're a youtuber and uh, you like perfection like me and then uh, enable that so the mouse doesn't show up in the gameplay lock mouse uh, cursor now nah. audio keep it the dsp hl fast uh, you, you can switch this to recompile as well but i recommend fast especially if you have a low end uh, pc if i have a high end pc then you can use choose that here, don't mess with those. Uh, enable auto stretching. I think only if you have some problems with audio. And yeah, sync the volume. It depends on how you like it. I put it always at thirty percent. Pads here, where you can uh, choose where your games are, where your ROMs are on your PC, and then you locate them with add. And uh, click, click on search subfolders and check for games they change in background. So those two. It's obli this is going to be this clicked, just enable it as you see what happens. Well, like that, it's removed the whole thing. Anyways, um, GameCube, nothing too crazy, just give it is. If we um, use a Paul 60 mode and uh, for Europe, yeah, as I said, I live in Europe. Enable screensaver, yeah, it's up to you. And uh, advanced here, JIT recompiler for 8664 recommended. Do that. Uh, don't mess with those if you don't show what you're doing um, here as well. So with this section done, configuration, just close it. Now you come to graphics here. That's what I use. Um, for me, Vulkan fu functions the best. You can go with OpenGL or DirectX 11, 12. It depends on, and it's a oh, uh, it depends on as well as the game. Like every game uh, responds to a different to our, uh, to our API. APIs are, the, are, are those, like the, the graphics that you choose. So every game works differently. There are some games work really good with Vulkan, some games re work really good with uh, OpenGL, as you might see from my last uh, video that I made for Pokemon Gale of Darkness. So I think OpenGL works best for it and not Vulkan, because it's, as I said, so uh, experiment with that and find the best solution for you. But for me, it's not for now, it's Vulkan. I use NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 Super, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm flexing. And always keep that at start and full screen, so you don't have to bother with put full screen. You know, directly when you start the game, it's gonna be in full screen and you're good to go. Um, show sure FPS, yeah, if you know it like me, uh, keep that to always see if the uh, if your PC and emulator f uh, functions as it's supposed to, 
Um, log run time, don't do that. Adjust, uh, auto adjust window size, yeah, do that. Uh, it's a, it's gonna adjust, depends on the, the um, native resolution, and mine is 1440p because my water is 1440p. And uh, yes, here's uh, some important thing, guys, that I wanna talk about. Um, if you have a high end, uh, um, high end system, right? As I have um, with like let's see 20, 2070 Super, and you have a Ryzen 7 37X with eight cores and sixteen threads, then uh, I would recommend Synchronos Opro shaders. And if you have a low end system or like middle end system, go for a Synchronizer. Synchronizer, it's it's um, it's better, softer on your. Um, PC and gonna give you more performance and of course the, this is compiled shaders before starting so what gonna happen here is everything that you played in the game gonna be recompiled before you're gonna start so what means it's gonna give you a less stutter experience because it's already loading it's before the game starts it's already loading up the, the images and pictures and and stuff like that you know that's how exist in the game and uh, yeah it's gonna take a little bit longer time to start the game but hey believe me it's worth it enhancement and step hands on uh, your PC once again what graphic cards you ha graphic card have and what processor so if you have a low end guys go just for uh, yeah 720 or 1080p it depends on and uh, if you have high end system you can even go to 4k like, I can push to 4k even to native 7 but you're not gonna see the difference if you don't have like the screen for it, right? So, uh, what I recommend is just choose the, nat uh, the resolu native set res resolution for your screen that you have. So you have 1080p, use 1080p, you have 720, and I think you got it. Uh, Anti analyzing, guys, uh, it depends. I don't like to use any of those. You can do that, it smooths out the game. And here as well, anthropic filtering, as well, I don't use any. Uh, here's not, I have no option, so I have to go for one. Post processing effects, don't even mess with it, it's trash, I don't like that. Scale FP copy, uh, enable, per pixel lightning, enable that. If you want to play like games that are not, so, that are 4 pi, what is it, 4 pi, let me see, here, yeah. Uh, if, if some games, uh, the most of GameCube games are 4 by 3, so, uh, if you want to play the games in 16 by 4, you have you can win widescreen hack, but it's gonna it's gonna give you some glitches in some games. It's just as uh, Game of Darkness, so I, I wouldn't recommend. But hey, you do what you do. Uh, disable copy filter, you can do that. All the other stuffs really not uh, necessary, and on that we done with here. Uh, Hex, uh, enable skip AFB access from CPU, store AFB copies to extra only, believe me I know, you can even check out what it does, but if I'm gonna go in depth and show you what all, explain everything, it's gonna take a long as time for the video, but if you want me to do that, let me know in the comment section below, and I will be more than happy to explain everything in details. Ignore from exchange, um, GPO text decoding, enable, store AFB copies to extra enable, Disable immediately present XP, but I hear it does uh, actually help with some of the. If you encounter those black screen and the cutscene of the game, uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Dead Alliance, uh, em uh, enable that. But if don't, don't enable it. Skip present and duplicate frames, do that. Fast debate colloca coll collocation. Enable, disable bonding box and save text to cache to stat. And then the last and not least here, don't play a lot with those, just keep it as it is. And uh, yeah, that was my my um, my setup here. And if you want me to do a controller, um, I might do that in the future, how to set up the controller for uh, the GameCube inventory, for the inventory. Now I'm gonna start the game. And I'm gonna show you the difference. Um, yeah, this one always shows. I'm gonna show you the difference between when you play it enhanced and when you play it in native. So you know how to fix it. As you might see here, all the text, right? Those profiles are loaded. And all the text here, you see, it's like covered in those blue um, stripes. I don't really like it. Let's skip that. 
skip the two. You see? So the only thing that to fix it is uh, is to go out of the game and uh, go to graphics guys, go enhancements and literally literally I tried everything is to go native uh, internet and internal resolution you go to native close and then start the game again like that yes I want start the game again and now when we start the game again like it's not not looking that bad even with native resolution let me be honest here like okay it's a little bit but look at that does it not look better like that and I even have an account emo gaming like so yeah, you see everything works flawlessly, the cutscenes works good, the game looks nice. I can even load my save. Enter your code, okay I don't remember my code, hold up. I have a picture actually, it's down, B, X, up, down, left. There we go. You go to arcade game. Let's see. I go always with Sonya because you know she can put it on, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I know that was a bad joke, right? Alright, let's just start the game. Let, let's you see, let you see how it looks. And I think we can wrap that up. This is native. But hey, it works. Hold up. I don't... No, I, there, was, there was a move. Yeah, I can, exactly. That's how you see that I, I actually play in the game. Because I know the... <laughs> I, come on boy oh jeez okay hold up hold up don't mess with Sonya boy all right guys with that all said guys I'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and whatever else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is Emo from Emoe Gaming and I'm freaking out for you and as of course guys if you found this video informative um, drop a like Subscribe maybe to the channel and click the notification button to always get notified when I upload new videos on this channel See you next time